Hey guys, Mega Strike here. Today I bring you another awesome redstone tutorial on how to make an item frame activated redstone contraption output thing. <laughs> uh, whatever you want to call it. So here's the first one. You can make two. They're both also the same uh, base platform thing. Uh, you know what? You guys know what I'm talking about. So for this one, I can put an item in and it sends a redstone output to this lantern. I can also place an item in this frame. And it'll do that because it's not supposed to. <laughs> Always happens when you're recording. But uh, you can place it in there and nothing happens. But as soon as you rotate it, it opens up the secret entrance from my last Redstone video. They're, they're both very simple. This is all it is. For the whole item frame part, it is just this comparator and Redstone dust. And then it's just a matter of using torches, ladders, and stuff to connect it up to the other Redstone contraptions. This one, it just had... They are... I made them as resource light as possible. This one, at most, takes two repeaters, but you can substitute one repeater for dust, and it'll still work exactly the same. So, all your, for materials, all you're going to need is a 7x7 seven seven area, an item frame, a comparator, repeater, dust, and a block of your choice. Alright, step one. Place the item frame. Boom. I know that's not that hard. So you place it wherever you want, it doesn't really matter, uh, but for this example, I'll be placing it in the, actually, I'm going to put there, yeah, oh, I like that better. So then just come around behind, remember which, uh, which block it is on, and since I know mine's on this block, I'm going to place two, uh, and then I'm going to fall, that, that's the tricky part, guys. <laughs> then I'm just going to place two blocks out, and remember it's right there, and then place a comparator there, and some dust here, and then... For this example, I'm going to just be creating the redstone, uh, the first one with the lantern. Uh, then you're just then just pla place the dust here. Place your repeater here. Again, it doesn't really matter. I like putting two and then a delay, a three tick delay, because it's kind of like, wait, did I do it right? You know, add some mis mystery to it. So I'm gonna swing over here, grab that, come here place it on the right block <laughs> and there that's it guys so again just a recap place your item frame on the block right below it kind of above below you know same block place uh, out the back actually there you go haha <laughs> found it <laughs> out the back place a comparator and a repeater and then redstone dust and if you want this is optional I write another repeater or you can just do dust into the redstone lantern now if you guys don't think like, ah, that's kind of lame, you can also come over, we can, I'm going to show you in a second how to make the, uh, uh, item open door thingy, <laughs> which is pr pretty cool. Alright, next, you're going to need the exact same materials as the one I just showed you, plus a redstone torch. So as you can see here, I have already built the, uh, two by, 2x, what, what is it, 2x1 flush piston door? <laughs> I don't even know my own video names. Yeah, I'm getting better about that. I don't have too many, though. So that's why you need to keep up the subscribers. Don't forget to smash that like button and punch that subscribe. And don't forget to ding the little bell, so the victory bell. So what you're going to do is just build the flush 2x1 two, two flush piston door. Exactly like in my other video. If you need to, there will be a link to it up on the screen right about now. And so as you can see, I've just created a little tunnel out. You see the, the, uh, whoops, ah, the piston's broken. Look at that. Base control to Major Tom. The piston's broken. Haha, <laughs> JK. Alright, I'm just gonna place that back in there. I can't believe I did that. Alright, so, what, then what you're gonna do, it's just right here, and I got the thing running over the top, the redstone connection line. And then, over here, on the item frame, you, if you want it to rotate, then leave it as here, we have to rotate it. If you don't want that, just place a repeater in front of this, like we did over there. So then run it out to here, two, two out, place a block, torch, block on top of the torch, and now you can go one of two ways. You can either go back over to here and then run it there, or you can place a block here and go this way, or you can place a block here and go this way. It doesn't really matter. This, uh, I think this one takes less dust. So then just run here, 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 and connect. So now this will make it so it's always closed until you put an item in.
and then it's gonna break. Haha. <laughs> oh man, what did I do? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does this always happen? Oh my. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna fix that. Alright, that was really strange. I still know, like, as soon as I stopped recording and tried to figure out, it started working again. Really strange. So, like I said, just, you've made, if, once you've made the 2 by one flush piston door, just run the line. I figured out, this, I think, is was the problem, though. I just changed this line, so, it does have to run back where it came from, overlap, and then into the repeater, which is at two ticks. That's it. So then when you come in and you place your item in, why does it always do that? There we go. Okay. So when you place your item in, it, the signal strength from the comparator is not going to be strong enough to reach all the way to this block. But as soon as you rotate it, one click here, it, allows, it opens up because the signal has reached the torch, which has turned it off, which basically is like the on-off switch. So that's pretty much straightforward. I'll just do a quick recap. 2x1 flush piston door, connect it to the item frame button. That's what we're going to call it, the item frame button thing. Yep, so well, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click up in this corner. If you would like to see my last redstone video, click up here. And don't forget to like this video. Come on, guys. I know we can get, get a big fan base going. So remember, if you want me to do another redstone video, Suggestions down in the comment section. And this is Megastrike signing off.